Well, welcome back, and it's carburetor time, everybody's favorite videos. In this multi-part series, we're going to look at how a carburetor functions, the types of carburetors, the circuits of a carburetor, and the components in both types of carburetors. Well, let's start out by explaining a very basic carburetor and how it functions. In this animation, as you can see, when the air enters the carburetor, it is funneled down into a narrow passage, which speeds up the air, creating a low pressure area near the jet, and the atmospheric pressure, which is higher, presses on the fuel going through a vent tube, and it pushes the fuel up as it's sucked into the airstream and mixed with the incoming air. This type of carburetor is commonly found on stationary engines such as lawnmowers, power washers, generators, and small other outdoor equipment that runs at constant RPMs. As a matter of fact, the early hit-and-miss gasoline engines used a very similar concept for their carburetors. They weren't much more complicated than this. Of course, understanding the carburetor is the first step into understanding how to diagnose a simple carburetor like this. There are four main places that can cause problems with a simple carburetor like this. Number one, fuel entering the carburetor bowl. If there's a blockage in the fuel line, fuel cannot enter the bowl. Number two, the carburetor vent. If atmospheric pressure cannot equalize the pressure in the bowl, the carburetor won't function. A clogged or dirty air filter will cause the incoming air to not create the pressure drop to suck the fuel up through the main jet. And, of course, a blockage in the jet itself will prevent fuel from rising up through it and mixing with the incoming air. Now, some of you may say, well, what about motorcycle carburetors or automotive carburetors? Those run at all kinds of RPMs, from idle speed to wide open throttle. Well, we're going to get to that. The next videos in this series are going to address and dive into the different types of carburetors and all the little intricacies and functions of those carburetors and also how to diagnose some problems. So stay tuned, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video, Leave a comment, like, and share, and thanks for watching.